the Kelly Pochette versus the Kelly Mini 2. Today is a battle between the Kelly Minis. Hello my loves, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a comparison video and I'm going to be comparing two very hard to get Hermes bags. The first being the Kelly Mini 2 versus the Kelly Pochette. So if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Mel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be very educational and I think it's going to be very helpful for those of you that may be deciding between these two bags. And it is the first of my Hermes series, which honestly, you guys gave me the idea to do. But if you like comparison videos, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and join my YouTube family and hit that bell if you want to be notified each time I upload. Upload. The reason why I've chosen these two in particular today is because I actually couldn't find anything on YouTube comparing both these bags. So I thought I would start off, I guess, my Hermes series with these two bags because a lot of you have requested Birkin comparisons and Kelly comparisons and I will definitely be doing them in the future. So in today's video, what am I going to go through? I'm going to divide this video into four different parts and I will put the timestamps in the description bar below. So first of all will be an overview of the bag. So I will go through the differences in sizes, the materials they come in. Then secondly, I'll be showing you what fits inside each of the bags and which one holds more. Third, I'll be talking about pricing and there is quite a bit of a difference even though the bags are so similar in size. And fourth, I'll be trying on the bags for you because I'm sure you want to know what they look like worn. So if you're interested in adding any of these two bags to your collection, then keep on watching. So I've brought you guys up close and personal because I think that's the best way to showcase these two bags. And first of all, let's go through if there are any differences in their appearance. As you can see, this is the Kelly Mini 2 and this bag here is called the Kelly Pochette. Well, I should say we call it the Kelly Pochette, those of us in the luxury community, but in fact, Hermes refers to this as the Kelly Mini Mini. And how do I know that? Have a look at this picture, which is the outside of the box. So if you go into Hermes and ask for this bag, some of them may not know what you're talking about because they refer to it as the Kelly Mini Mini. Okay, so obviously there are a difference in size. There isn't much of a difference, but there is enough of a difference. I did a measurement across here and it actually measures 19 centimeters. Whereas the Kelly Pochette, the length of this measures 22 centimeters. In terms of height, you can see, look, this is a little bit taller than the Kelly Mini. And in terms of depth, you can definitely see that the Kelly Pochette is wider than the Kelly Mini. If we go to the back, the back is very similar. Obviously this is longer. And if I put it in front, you can kind of see that you can see the difference there between 19 and 22 centimeters. Also in terms of the shape, I would say this is sort of more rectangular. Whereas in the Kelly Mini 2 sort of looks more like a trapezoid. I forgot to show you the bottom of the bag. The Kelly Pochette doesn't have any feet, but the Kelly Mini has four feet. The biggest difference I would say is the handles. So as you can see on the Kelly Mini, this handle is much bigger. Whereas in on the Kelly Pochette, the handle can be flattened out like this, or you can also pull it up and you can be worn like this. This one here, I was going to say, can it be put on the wrist? No, it's like tiny. It's really a handheld bag. But the biggest difference is that the Kelly Mini 2 comes with a shoulder strap. So this bag here, you can actually wear, you know, on the shoulder. So let me just close this up. And it comes with a very, very thin shoulder strap here. And that's why it's got these little attachments here for this shoulder strap. Whereas in this one, technically it is known as a clutch because it doesn't come with a handle. Okay, let's talk about materials. So my Kelly Pochette is in Swift Leather. Oh, I forgot to tell you the colors. Mine is in Rose Poupre or Rose Poop. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. And my Kelly Mini 2 is in Epsom leather in Rose Extreme. Both of them have palladium hardware. Okay, so now let's talk about the Kelly Pochette. 
Now this pochette, it comes in various leathers. The most common I would say is Swift leather, which is what my pochette is in. And then it also comes in Epsom. It also comes in Chev leather, which I will show you an example of what Chev leather looks like. So obviously this comes in all the gorgeous exotics like ostrich, croc, and it's also been made in the past. So you'll see versions come in suede and even uh, lizard, which I love. And in terms of the Kelly Mini 2, I would say you most commonly see it in Epsom leather, which is the one I've got here. And it also comes in Chev. I've seen that quite a bit as well. And it comes in beautiful exotics, like some of the Crocs. Oh my goodness, they are to die for. And I've also seen it in Ostrich. And it may also come in other leathers, but those are the ones that I've seen so far. So let's talk quickly about the differences in leathers because these two are very commonly offered in both these bags. So what is Epsom leather? Epsom leather is an embossed leather. So the grain that you see on this leather isn't the actual grain of the calf. It's actually been pressed on. And a lot of people favor Epsom leather because it helps maintain the structure of the bag. As you can see, this is quite structured. Epsom leather tends to be very lightweight as well. And my Kelly pochette, this is in Swift leather. Like Swift leather, I don't know if you can see, there is actually a very, very fine grain on the leather. And the properties of Swift leather and why people love it so much is because it takes color so beautifully well. It does scratch a little bit easier than Epsom, but honestly, I've had no problem with my Swift leather. I was always a little bit scared of Swift, but after owning it, I absolutely love this leather. And another leather, which is very popular that comes in both bags is the Chev Mysore leather. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I'll write it here. I don't own a bag in the Chev Mysore, but I do own this SLG in it. And as you can see, this leather is goat leather. It's really popular too, because it's got much more of a grain, making it very durable, but it's also scratch resistant. So if I was offered a bag in this Chev leather, I would definitely take it. So what fits in the Kelly pochette? I brought a whole range of items and let's see what we can fit inside. So if you open it up, as you can see, it's just one big space with one slip pocket right here. Okay, first things first is I have a bigger size iPhone. Mine is an iPhone 8 Plus, but it's the same as, you know, the 10s Max. That fits with a case, not a problem. Another thing I always carry with me is my LV mini pochette. So does that fit in? Yes, but it does take up a bit of the room. Let's definitely, I need, this is my card case, my Chanel card case with a few cards in there. And then I'm going to put in some mints. Let's put in my Bastia coin purse. That fits. And what else? I also definitely need my car keys. So that can fit in there. And let's just try this. I've got sunglasses in a soft case. So as you can see, these are my Chanel pearl sunglasses, which I love. If I lay that on the top, can that fit? Okay, this is pushing it. Let's just see, can I close it? Okay, I just can close it, as you can see, but it's pinching the sides. I would say that is packed, really, really packed. I probably wouldn't put the sunglasses in, but you definitely could remove, if I removed the Bastia and I didn't have to bring my mints, and then I put my sunglasses there. Oh, that's much easier. I can definitely fit my sunglasses in there. So. so as you can see, that's much better. It's not pulling guys. And from the side, it's fine as well. But that is at, you know, max capacity. But let me just, if I didn't put sunglasses in there and we put these two back in. So the Bastia goes back in and the mints goes back in. You know, I, I could even put some tissues in there. Let's just have a look. So that is really full. Wow, that's, that's much better. As you can see, that's jam packed. And if I close that up, that's fine without the sunglasses. So that is jam packed as you can see. Okay, so now let's empty the contents out of this and see what can we fit in the Kelly Mini 2. Okay, so let's see what can fit in a Kelly Mini 2. 
and I'm gonna use exactly the same contents as what we put into the Kelly pochette. So it's a like for like comparison. Bear in mind, this is in Epsom leather. So if it was in Chev, it could be a little bit more forgiving, but I think it won't fit as much. So if you open it up, first thing first, inside is just one big opening as well with the slip pocket like the Kelly pochette. And does it fit a bigger sized iPhone with a case? And I would say, yes, it does, as you can see. Next up was the mini pochette. I use this to house makeup, and this is definitely not going to fit. So we'll have to leave that out. And then I've got my Chanel card case, and that's not a problem. And then I have my car keys, which definitely need to be in. I've also got some tissues, which I will put in there. And because I don't have space for makeup, I would probably need like one lippy with me, which I will actually put in here first. Okay, so I had to do a little bit of maneuvering and this lippy will have to actually lay on the top like that. And then now, yes, it does close as you can see, and that would be at max capacity. So that's the side, it's the back, oops, side, and that's it. So the things that I left out that couldn't fit in this was my mints, the Bastia, and the mini pochette. And all those three actually fit in the Kelly pochette. So as you can see from these two bags, the Kelly pochette definitely fits a lot more than the Kelly mini too. Now let's talk pricing. Before I hinted at, even though these two are very similar in size, and as you could tell from the What Fits Inside segment, the Kelly pochette definitely fits more, the pricing is quite different. I bought both of these bags in Hawaii, so I will be telling you US pricing. I'm actually not sure what it retails for in Australia. But when I bought this Kelly pochette, so this is in the Swift leather, I paid 5,450 US dollars. However, now there has been a price increase. So this exact bag now, I believe retails for 5,800 US and then plus tax, depending on which state you live in. Swift leather is more expensive than Epsom. So if you buy this exact bag in Epsom, I believe it's about 300 or so cheaper. Now for the Kelly Mini 2, I paid 8,000 US for this. So I know that that price is the most current price uh, in USD. If you were to buy this exact same bag in the Chev leather, which is the goatskin leather, it is approximately 8,650, I believe. If you know otherwise, please let me know. It is hard to find pricing on the internet. That's why I'm always so transparent with you guys about what I've paid. So all in all, the Kelly Mini is a lot more expensive than the Kelly pochette. So this bag here, as I said, retails now for 5,008, and this bag here is about 8,000 USD, so it is $2,000 more expensive. So why is this more expensive than this? From what my sales associate told me, it's just dependent that this bag takes longer to make. So this is the Kelly Mini 2 worn. Obviously you can wear it handheld, which is so cute. The strap that it comes with is quite short. For reference, I am 164 centimeters tall and it is, does sit, that's where it falls on me when I'm just wearing it on the shoulder. You definitely can wear this crossbody, but it does come up quite short, just so you know, as you can see. But I have worn this crossbody with a dress and it does work. So if you are really tall, it may not work crossbody, but the good thing about this is that you can detach this strap Put another strap on and it can work as a crossbody bag as well. And this is the Kelly pochette. And because it doesn't have a shoulder strap, the most common way you wear it is just handheld like this, which I love wearing, or you can tuck it underneath your arm as well. However, like I said, even though this is technically a clutch, there are ways you can make this into a shoulder bag. So that is it guys. That is my in-depth comparison between 
these two cuties, the Kelly Pochette and the Kelly Mini 2. I hope this video proved helpful for those of you wanting to add either of these bags to your collection. It is not a review because I've only had the Kelly Mini for a little bit, so I can't say which one I love more, but definitely later down the track, I will do a review. But I do think there is room for both in your collection, obviously, since I have both, and I love both of these very, very much. So depending on your needs and your lifestyle, you've seen all the differences and what fits inside and how it looks, you can make an informed decision on which bag you prefer. If you liked this comparison video, guys, don't forget to show me some love and give it a thumbs up. These comparison videos, I have to admit, do take quite a while to film, but that is so worth it if you guys find this information helpful. And if you were also interested, I did recently this year do my entire Hermes bag collection. If you wanted to see that, I will leave it up here. You can watch that. And I'll also leave my playlist here of all my bag or shoe collection videos. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you really soon in my next video. Bye guys.